It is Fox Across America with Jimmy Fallon. The band slowing down the music, trying to keep this interview under control because it frequently does go off the rails. He's a superstar congressman from the Fighting Fifth Congressional District of Arizona. Andy Biggs is back on the show. Hey, man. Hey, Jimmy. I I thought I walked into a, a, a nightclub in mid-'80s, and there's a, <laughs> a one of those reflector balls on the roof. And, you know, <laughs> this kind of music, I was just um, going to go – take out my John Travolta leisure suit, the whole thing. <laughs> well, fantastic. at least you didn't do any cocaine. I mean, when you say the 80s, I mean, you never know where those references are going to go. So way to keep it yeah, clean. Yeah, no, no, no. I was not a cocaine user. No, no, never did. No, me neither. Because I was like, you know, the thing is, I've always had too much natural energy. I would be unbearable on drugs. You know, I'm unbearable now. So uh, I've always. No, no, yeah, I, hey, I, hey, I, hey, I, hey, I, that's I, enough I, out of you, Biggs. <laughs> hold on a second. I, I walked into that one. Don't, Hold on. don't tee it up if you don't want me to hit it. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> ah, that's great. Uh, listen, man, there's so much There's so much going on out in the fighting fifth. Yep. I mean, there's so much going on everywhere. It's midterm time now. Uh, I was I was laughing, though. In your home state, uh, Katie Hobbs doesn't want to debate Carrie Lake. Is that a thing? Yeah, I mean, it really is. And, and Katie Hobbs is sinking like a stone, partly right. because of that. Uh, you, you, I mean, she's not only is she hiding but there's embarrassing videos of her out there they've they've they're starting to make i mean the local media hasn't really hit this yet but mm-hmm. they're starting to remind people that she uh, lost a couple of uh, equal employment opportunity cases when she discriminated against a black woman oh. when when Katie Hobbs was the uh, uh minor, minority leader in the senate she basically uh, pay this woman thirty thousand dollars less than uh, a white male getting doing the exact same job. What? And it's always the equality people. It's always the you yeah. know. Oh man, what a racket, Biggs. But that's always yeah. the case. Whenever someone's calling you a racist, it's because they're doing something racist. I mean, we've learned that like ninety nine times out of a hundred in politics. But you know, I I, I kind of like I, I spoke with Carrie Lake on the show last week. We had a great time, mm-hmm. uh, and yep. she said the state's amazing except for the fighting fifth. She said that's the one dish. I'm kidding, Biggs. I'm kidding. I just owed you one. <laughs> um, but let, did you hear? Did you see this story really quick about how Biden? They were pressuring the El Paso mayor not to declare a state of emergency at the border until the after the election. Is that's essentially just him saying, "I don't care what happens to these people. Let's just not talk about it," you know, until people are done voting. Is that what it's come to? Yes. Yes, it is. I mean, think about that. So, so El Paso city of uh, you know, it's about a million people in El Paso. Juarez is probably three million. So he's saying, we don't care what happens there just so long as the Republicans don't win. That's so and crazy. I mean, that's why that's why he's releasing another 15 million barrels of oil from the Strategic Petroleum Reserve between now and the midterm election. Wow. He's hoping that gas goes down enough so people say, yeah, it was over five, it was over six, but now it's only 399. Uh, so that <laughs> means that we're going the right direction. It's just, yeah, they, 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 they condescend to mm-hmm. the people of the United States. They, they treat us like we're morons, yeah. and uh, we're not. Americans aren't morons. No, man. I'm the, I, to, to quote uh, Fredo in The Godfather, I'm smart. He's like, I'm smart. Come on, I'm smart. Uh, but we are. <laughs> we are, Andy Biggs. Representative Andy Biggs is on the line. Now we're doing Godfather lines. I told you this was going to spiral out of control. It always does. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, Look, uh, <laughs> okay, I'm not going to I'm not gonna go in there. I'm you play a little defense, there. Biggs. Whose side are you on here, man? Um, I've, I've built through, baby. <laughs> <laughs> well, so I'm, I'm laughing because it's like, you, you know, you're talking about them lying and them saying that. We're stupid. But that's essentially where we are now. Like, Corrine Jean-Pierre, I was playing clips earlier, just told the press that the Inflation Reduction Act is going to kick in after the midterms. It just it takes yeah. it takes a minute to get going. It's like a slow activation, like one of those pills that you swallow or something yeah, like this. It's, but it's a release time bill. Yeah, time it's release bill release is what it, it's. Yeah. It's sophisticated. <laughs> so, uh, should my audience be holding their breath for those inflation benefits to kick in? Uh well, if, if by benefit you mean increased inflation, yes, they, they, it's going to because it's going to it's going to increase inflation. That that's the painful part of this is is I mean even even Democrats look at it and they're like, well, yeah, this is this was idiotic. Yeah. It's the Green New Deal. That package was the Green New Deal. Well, and that, there's nothing more inflationary than the Green New Deal. Well, that's what I think is so ridiculous is the minute they passed it, they were like, ah, oh, let's you know bust out James Taylor and go sing about you know. <laughs> 
climate change. I mean, it was the most ridiculous thing in the world. And while he's singing on the White House lawn, the stock market was down 1,200 points that day. So you're yeah. literally getting fire and rain on your 401k as this guy is singing fire and rain. Oh, I mean, I but it's true. 7.6 trillion bigs off the market. Come on, man. Yeah, I mean, 30, 34K. So the average person has, well, what, 135 grand in their, mm-hmm. their deal. It, and it dropped by tw- about 25%, lost $34,000. Oh, um, so they, they, now they, they had 135K. Now they've got 100 Okay. Wow, you know, it's nuts. terrible. But but here's the thing that people also notice, mm-hmm. and people aren't talking about this enough, and that is your real um, dollar value now has shrunk by $6,000 oh, for wow. the average family of four in the last 12 months under Joe Biden. Wow. 6000 bucks. How can you go to – how can you go and vote Democrat? I mean, seriously. And my favorite line is Joe Biden said, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is going to get far, far worse uh, mm-hmm. if the Republicans win. <laughs> what? what? Wait a minute. You guys have, con- have had control of the House, the Senate, and the presidency for two years. Mm-hmm. You did this. You built this, Joe. This is the inflation <laughs> you built, man. That, that's Come my, on, man. Come on, man. That's what they say. Well, that's my favorite part about the whole thing, okay, is none of these problems existed before they took office. Yet they want you to believe somebody else caused them. Like, it's impressive. Like, I know they're the party of Hollywood, but they should get some acting lessons because it's not convincing acting. That's all I'm saying, Biggs. Um, yeah, I mean, it's like go uh, you got kids. I got kids. You, you walk in. The cookie jars open. There's crumbs everywhere. <laughs> the kids got a mustache of milk and cookies. And you're saying, who got into the cookies? <laughs> it wasn't me. Exactly, it Andy Biggs. Me. That's why you're the best interview on the radio. We're out of here. Hard break. Let's do it again soon.